Down Big Will Levinson. And it's time to talk sports. It is a great Tuesday night here in Western Colorado. And if you can believe it, it's already mid December, meaning it's almost time for winter break on the Western Slope. But in their final game before winter break, the Palisade Bulldogs grabbed wins on both the girls and boys side. And after both teams were coming off losses in the Bulldog Winter Classic on their home court, boy, it is big to enter the break with some confidence after getting a big road win. And watch out for the Palisade girls team, now seven and three on the year, and their three losses came to great teams. Undefeated Grand Valley, a top-ranked Mead team, and these here Frutal Wildcats, who in their final game before break, got the big 60 to 36 win up in Gypsum over the Devils of Eagle Valley. And with it, the Fruta girls get to eight and one on this season, and they'll be off until January 6th. Meanwhile, on the boys' side, the top ranked team in Colorado, the Fruta Wildcats, have done it again. Fruta dominates Eagle Valley 71 to 42 as they get to a perfect 10 and 0. Oh, and if and you cannot ask for a better start to the season, for the Wildcats and they will certainly enjoy their Christmas as they will enter 2024 undefeated and the number one ranked team in the state and they won't have to play another game until January 4th and the holidays also came early for the CMU Mavs as they grabbed the win over Simon Frazier in Las Vegas and their final game of 2023 Monday it was Trevor Baskin with the big day but today it's Owen Koontz who led the way. He dropped 27 points in the win as the Mavs will head into the break and a tremendous 9-2 and two on the year. CMU is off until January 5th when they will host CSU Pueblo. And let's head to the mat now because after a great weekend at Desert Duels in Vegas for CMU, one Mav was honored, and that Mav is Isabeau Shellac. The redshirt sophomore is the RMAX Women's Wrestler of the week after going four and one on Sunday, winning two by fall. Shellac is now six and two on the year overall, and she is currently ranked seventh in the nation in the latest coaches poll. But from the mat to the ice we go as the Colorado Avalanche were looking to make it two in a row, but they fall short up in Chicago, three to two to the Blackhawks. But hey, the big news, Nathan McKinnon kept his point streak alive with an assist, and he's now up to 16 straight games with a point. Valerie Nachushkin scored both goals for the Avs, and they will look to get back on track this Thursday when they host the Ottawa Senators. And, Senators, and we are expecting some snow on Denver, in Denver on Sunday, and the Denver Broncos will be dressed properly. The icy white helmets will return this Sunday night at mile high in a huge game on Christmas Eve against the Patriots. And it's nice that Denver will be looking their best when it matters most with playoff implications on the line. I mean, these are just absolutely gorgeous. Unfortunately, they won't be in all white, so they'll lose the advantage of being basically invisible on a snowy field. But still, these all orange uniforms, they are sweet and they'll be looking nice on Saturday night. Christmas Eve in Denver, the Broncos and the Patriots on NFL Network. Folks, we are pumped. But that's all my time for sports. I'm Big Will Levinson.